Now, the Prime Minister made those comments on the sidelines of an historic reopening of a park in the inner city of New Providence today. Vern Carey tells us that the popular community hub received some significant TLC. The historic Southern Recreation Grounds is open to the public again after being shut down for extensive renovations. A fixture in the Baines and Grantstown community for decades, the park features a new basketball court, new playground, exercise facilities, and more green spaces. Prime Minister, the Most Honorable Dr. Hubert Minnis, officially opened the park, noting that the renovations, which are phase one of the project, is part of a promise to rejuvenate the inner city. He also indicated that the park is situated in one of the first tax-free zones in the Country. It's our intention to rebuild the entire over the hill community as this is the community from which I was born. And as you enter, you would note that we have security gate with 24 hour security and CCTV facility. And our TV facility, camera facility, is connected directly to the police station so that the police will be monitoring our facilities 24-7. Now you should also know that this park has features for all ages. There's also 24-hour security and Wi-Fi for all. Children can come to the Southern Recreation Ground and have access to free Wi-Fi where they can do their homeworks, study, etc. And as education is so important, we would see to it that we have within such facility monitors who can assist our children once they are here doing any homework or studies. Area Member of Parliament Travis Robinson says the changes to the historic park represent a significant investment in the inner city. And this redevelopment of Southern Recreation Grounds is by far the single largest investment in our inner city community in over 40 years, thanks to our Prime Minister. One need only to take a drive or walk to each of the parks in this community and a few others to see the ongoing work that this government has jump-started in our over-the-hill communities. Fern Geary, ZNS Network News.